Today's episode is all about bubbles and how they can benefit economy. Crypto Media Service, bringing you in-depth thoughts on cryptocurrencies. Hello and welcome to Crypto Media Service. I'm the Golden Boy. I'll be your host today. We will be looking at bubbles. This is the first in the series of show where we will look at historical bubbles, what we can learn from them, and how it can help us make money in the future. So, tag along and let's start with the tulip bubble. But what was the tulip bubble, or what is better known as tulip mania? Well, it's actually a little long story, but let's boil it down to something concrete we can keep our minds on. The tulip mania came apart because of Dutch traders back in the 1500 beginning to sail to foreign seas importing exotic goods. One such good was the tulip. The tulip started its journey to Amsterdam from Turkey, where a sultan sent a bulb and seed to Vienna. Shortly after, in 1554, the seeds were sent to Amsterdam, and it is where they began their rise to popularity. This rise to popularity led to a university study in 1593, where it was concluded that the tulip could be grown in the harsh northern European climate. And from there, the popularity grew immensely, also outside of the Netherlands regions. From there, in the Dutch region, they began to grow tulips. And the market became a little sophisticated because they began to experiment with the tulips and found out it could be grown in multiple colors and even have multiple colors on the same flower. So solid color flowers were one price, multicolored flowers were another price. This sophisticated market led to people beginning to speculate in tulips, buying them for higher and higher prices, and with the hope of selling them on for even higher prices. At one point, the price of a tulip were twice the annual salary of a craftsman, which you can compare to a middle-class worker today. We saw the same tendencies in cryptocurrency back in 2017 as prices were rising more and more. People purchased cryptocurrencies for higher and higher amount of money in the hope of selling them on for even higher amounts of fiat currencies, hoping to make a great big profit and becoming a millionaire, just as so many others have done. As the price were rising in cryptocurrency, we saw the price coming up to a level compared to an average Danish salary of three, maybe even four months for an average middle class one person income before taxes. And we have the highest tax pressure in Denmark, so it were quite expensive at some point for something like Bitcoin. Returning to tulip mania, we saw throughout the year 1636 that the price was rising more and more, and it kept on until 1637, where we saw the bubble bursting. The price plummeted down, and the price stayed at a level where the grower could keep a profit, but not a humongous profit. So, what happened next? What happened in the long run with tulip mania? Directly after the price plummets down, we saw the beginning to the end of the Dutch Golden Age, where they came into a middle economical depression. Even though the bubble started the end of the Dutch Golden Age, well, it had to stop at one point. So today you will know tulips because they're Dutch. Most people would know that something is Dutch when it has tulips on it. And even though as the tulip export represents a small share of the Dutch exports today, it is still one of the most grown plants in their agricultural field. And the Dutch regions are, well, the biggest exporters of tulips worldwide. No one can compare to them. And looking over the beautiful tulip fields, well, it gives you a sense of calm and 
is visited by many tourists. So besides being a great product for export, it is also a tourist magnet for the Dutch region, thereby attracting more income. So you could say that the price will never rise to being more than an annual salary again. But it still have economical benefits for the country. And that comes in the form of tourists and exports. But it also comes in the form of job creation, innovation and so on. Because new ways of farming tulips are always being invented in the Netherlands. Can we compare this to cryptocurrency? Yes, we can. Because, well, even though the cryptocurrency has been through sort of a mini bubble, I would say, I don't think it will stay down in the price we see right now. But even if it does, we might see that in the long run it will gain a popularity, keeping the price down, seeing the rise of new and smarter ways of doing cryptocurrencies and so on. So just because the bubble has burst, it doesn't mean the end. It means the new chapter is beginning. We just have to find our way through this. And please follow along next time when we compare to Railway Mania, a more fun uh, or at least more informative mania, which has a whole lot of other complications into it. And Benefits in the long run are even bigger in Railway Mania. I will tell you why next time. Until we see each other again, have a great time. Remember to look down in the description to see some of the ways you can support the continued development of this show. And if you have any conceptions about cryptocurrency you want confirmed or debunked, please write them down in the comments and I will make sure to follow up on them once we're finished with looking at economical bubbles and as always remember to click that like button if you like this video if you disliked it you know what to do and click subscribe and that little bell notification icon to get notified when we get new videos online thank you for watching have a great week bye bye